In a quaint village nestled in the heart of the forest, there lived a sweet little girl named Little Red Riding Hood. She earned her name because she wore a beautiful red hood that her grandmother had lovingly made for her. One sunny morning, Little Red Riding Hood's mother called her and said, Little Red, your grandmother is feeling unwell. Would you be a dear and take her this basket of goodies? Inside, there's fresh fruit, homemade bread, and a jar of honey. Little Red Riding Hood agreed cheerfully and accepted the basket from her mother. She put on her beloved red hood and headed off into the woods. Her mother warned her to stay on the path and not to talk to strangers, as Little Red Riding Hood strolled through the forest. She couldn't help but admire the vibrant wildflowers, listen to the birds' joyful songs, and enjoy the rustling of leaves in the gentle breeze. The forest's beauty captivated her so much that she failed to notice a sly wolf lurking behind a tree. The wolf, with a cunning plan in mind, approached Little Red Riding Hood. He inquired, Where are you going, my dear? I'm on my way to visit my grandmother, Little Red Riding Hood replied. She's unwell, and I'm bringing her some treats. The wolf, with an ominous glint in his eye, suggested, Why don't you pick some lovely wildflowers for your grandmother? She would surely appreciate that. Little Red Riding Hood thought it was a splendid idea. She left the path to gather colorful wildflowers while the wolf, continuing on, hastened to her grandmother's house. Upon arriving at her grandmother's cozy cottage, Little Red Riding Hood was taken aback to find the door ajar. She entered cautiously and discovered her grandmother in bed. However, something seemed amiss. Grandmother, what big ears you have, Little Red Riding Hood observed. All the better to hear you with, my dear, replied the wolf, who had cunningly disguised himself as her grandmother. Little Red Riding Hood grew increasingly puzzled. Grandmother, what big eyes you have, she exclaimed. All the better to see you with, the wolf replied, his voice sounding deeper than her grandmother's. Growing more alarmed, Little Red Riding Hood said, Grandmother, what big teeth you have, all the better to eat you with. The wolf snarled, leaping out of bed. But just as the wolf was about to pounce on Little Red Riding Hood, a brave woodsman who had heard the commotion burst into the cottage. He swiftly rescued Little Red Riding Hood and captured the wolf, saving the day. Little Red Riding Hood was immensely grateful to the woodsman for his bravery and learned the importance of heeding her mother's advice about strangers. From that day forward, she never strayed from the path and was always cautious when talking to those she didn't know. And so, in the quiet village and nestled in the forest, the story of Little Red Riding Hood and the wolf became a tale of vigilance and wisdom, reminding everyone to be cautious of the wolves that may lurk in the world.